This is a tutorial on how to change your name and possibly controls in Minecraft for the Raspberry Pi. The first thing that you must do is install the program Octeta. It is a hash editor program that you get from a Linux download system. To get it you have to go to terminal and type in this series of letters. If you type this in exactly, it will update the Pi and install the program Octecta. This part of the program installs or er, updates the Pi and then the AND and then uh, the series of code that will install Octecta. So once you hit enter and have that installed, then you have to go to um, the root access of the Pi and give yourself root access so that you can change stuff later on with this program. To give yourself root access you have to go to the terminal again and you have to type in this series of code. Press enter. It will uh, prompt you to enter a password. Just enter an easy password. It, it won't show up in the text bar obviously. Type it in again and then it says that your password is updated successfully and at this point what you have to do is you have to restart the Pi so we'll click reboot when the Pi starts back up instead of entering our normal credentials to get into the Pi we're going to enter the root access command to get into the Pi so the Pi is starting up. Okay, we are at the normal step where we would type Pi and Raspberry to log in, but instead of typing that, we are going to type root and the password that we had before. Oh, whoops. And then start X, same as always. So now instead of being in the normal Raspberry Pi, we are in the root access of the Raspberry Pi, which means we now have the ability to edit the hash code of programs, which we are going to do with our program Octecta that we got earlier. So to go to Octecta, you have to go to your accessories and open the program. Once the program is open, you have to go to the open tab, go to root, opt, or wherever your Minecraft Pi file is, for us it was root, opt, and then you have to go to the Minecraft Pi this little gear here that ha says Minecraft Pi next to it, you have to open that. And then you'll get this series of confusing, ugly looking code. And this is the hash code. So to find what we need to change, we have to click on this find tab up here. To make it easier on us, we're going to go to char, and we're just going to type in Steve to find the name. And then we click on find. Okay, so we are now at the point where Steve is. His name is somewhere around here. Um, anyways, we we don't we don't need to be up here because we we actually need to be it's just a little bit downwards at the point. It is zero 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 F colon a eight c o so you'll see on the side here there are these hash 
numbers and they just go down in normal order so we have to go to 0 0 0 F A 8 and right here we're at F A 4 so we scroll down till we're at F A 8 and here we see Steve but we don't want to be at F A 8 4 we want to be at F A 8 uh, C O and if you know how a hexadecimal works it goes 9 and then where 10 would be it would be A so we're just going to see 9, A, B, which would be 11, C, D, E, and we want to be at C. So I don't know why I went down to E. But there we see where you would normally have Steve Pi, but we already changed it. So here in this space, you can change your name to whatever you want. For example, we can change it back to Steve Pi. and you can change your name to whatever you want in this space. Also around this area are the options that you would normally have but for some reason they don't make a tab to include them in your game. For example they have the invert mouse option right here. They have render distance. They have all the things that Minecraft would normally have in their options tab but for some reason you can't find them in there but they're here. They're all here. They're just not in the actual game itself. So that is our tutorial on how to change your name in Minecraft Pi.